Here, let's go to Rick on line three in Hollywood, California. Rick, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken, how are you? I'm doing well, sir. How can I help? Yeah, so I'm uh, having a little bit of fear uh, in this um, kind of the direction I want to go uh, in the, my job change, you know, changing. I don't know if I want to change careers or just in addition to, but um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're all over the board. I want you to restate what your big challenge is. Uh, what's going wrong with your current career, and then where do you think that you want to go? Give me the specifics. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with my current career. I'm a screenwriter over here in Hollywood. Right. Um, about to have a, a movie made if we can get the uh, actor attached. Oh, that's uh, cool. Which, uh, which we think we will. Okay. Um, so, so I don't mind. So, I mean, you don't know. This is a career where you know you live job by job. And, that's right. So you don't know if it's sustainable or not. But How um, long have you been a last, screenwriter? Uh, getting paid, not very long. Uh, I've been screenwriting since 2012, basically. Started out as an actor, did a couple of things on okay. TV and stuff, and then okay. switched to uh, what have, uh What have you been doing in the meantime, you know, so you've not been paid very long. When you're not being paid for a screen uh, for a screenplay, what what is it that you do to bring in money? I would do uh, PA jobs on different TV shows or on sets, uh, drive Uber if I had to. All right. Uh, basically anything that I could find. All right. Um, but, you know, very sustainable. I mean, I've still been making like at least 60 grand a year. Great. So um, what happens if this screenplay that we're going to hear on soon gets picked up and it does well? Not bonkers, but let's say it does well. What? How does that change your mindset? Um, it gets me out of debt, which is basically the only thing that's like exciting me right now is like this this because i'm drowning in it a little bit um and i and i love writing and i could do it forever um but my i feel like my heart's being torn towards really wanting to help people uh you know i just read the news and and it just you know it just bothers me that we're so you know at each other's throats you read people's comments and they're just very hateful and so i just kind of want to start something to get people change people's mindset which is a huge you know undertaking okay but, so let's say well before we start see here's what the problem is people's hearts start to speak to them like you rick and then uh -huh. in the same sentence we go boy i think i'd love to do something with this but oh my gosh it's a huge undertaking so before we let fear rear its head let's just name what it is do you know the specifics what would you do because that's a very ambiguous uh, thing you just described. Be specific with me. What would you do? What's your heart tugging uh, for you to do? Well, I keep for the last. It's probably been two or three months where I just wake up and I'm like, you know, I feel like you need to start a podcast slash YouTube show. So basically, the show would be the podcast, and uh, I have already people lined up to interview. Uh, it's not political. It's not about Hollywood. Uh, most of them are Hollywood people, and it's really just talking about how we can you know, treat each other better. I mean, I don't really have, I'm trying to figure what, what that main focus is. All I know is that. Okay. So here, so let me stop you. To think so let yeah. me stop you and tell you what you need to do. Number one, you need to start the podcast this weekend. You just go ahead and commit. You understand? Okay. Now here's what I didn't say. I didn't say you release the podcast this weekend. I said you start it. So I want you to sit down with the friend or the people you've got lined up, or let's say you've envisioned some segment where you're talking to the camera. And by the way, you can do all this for less than 200 bucks. Okay. I mean, you really can. You get, you, you can get a, a cheap mic for less than 200 bucks and you can plug it into your Mac. You got garage band. You know how I know this? Cause I recorded all the one question interviews for my first book on garage band. I bought a mic for $39 on the internet and put it up next to a speakerphone and called all the people that are in one question. And I recorded them right through the speakerphone into that mic, into my Mac. Cause all I needed was clear audio to get it transcribed. Yeah. Okay. Just well, want to let... I have someone with a camera and all that. I know. I, I know you do. I'm telling you, I was like Mr. Bargain yeah. Basement, and I pulled off a book. You could start a podcast for less than $200, so do it yeah. this weekend. Now, now, listen, get it done, get it in the can, listen to it, edit it, and if you go, oh, I would never release that, fine, but you already started. It's like getting over that edge, and it's like that first time you do anything. It's like the first time you ride a bike. It's like, Aah! You know what I mean? And when that first bike ride is done, you probably wrecked. But when you get up, even if it hurt a little bit, you went, wait a second. Okay, I got a couple bruises. I'm going to stick to the sheets tonight. But I didn't die, and so I'm going to try this again. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's everything yeah. for you. 
you're already in screenwriting. You've managed to stay above water. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to launch the podcast this weekend. That means you do your first segment or you do something. At some point in the next week after that, I want you to post it on YouTube, on iTunes, uh, on wherever, okay? I want you to do that. And then I want you to just keep doing it. Keep doing it. And six months from now, it might be a completely different podcast. You might develop a whole new thing. But don't let I don't know what I'm going to do or say stop you. Just throw it out there. You have a general idea what you want to do. You've already lined up people as, as guests. So you do have a general idea. Stop trying to make it perfect. It's not the first iteration. The first version of the Ken Coleman Show, Joe's sitting across the glass with me right now. We're going we're gonna to be back, and, and, and it's going to be different. I'm coming back to radio. Details on that soon. But, but, but listen, yeah. it's going to be different. But there would be no second version if there wasn't me starting out on Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock, which, by the way, I paid 250 bucks just to get on the air. That's more money than you're going to pay to launch your podcast. So get it going. Now, second step, you need to get more work. You can still stay in the screenwriting business, launch your podcast, and pay off debt. But, Rick, you're going to have to do some things a little differently. you got to bring in some more money while you're pursuing yeah. the dream. So get another day job. If it's 15 hours, 20 hours, go get it. Put that extra money, the debt. Here's what's going to happen in your life. You're going to experience financial momentum using Dave Ramsey's baby steps. That extra money you're going to make keeps you in the game. Because you said you love screenwriting. Stay in the game. But do whatever it takes to stay in the game. Go make extra money. Pay down the debt. There's momentum. Eventually, you're going to get a screenplay that's going to take off. Boom, money. Huge momentum. Pay off all the debt. Stay in the screenwriting game. Podcast is going. Maybe maybe it takes off. Maybe it doesn't. But maybe it brings in a couple grand a month over time. Or even 500 bucks a month with some advertising. Or maybe it opens a door for you to make a connection with somebody. And they go, hey, I heard your podcast. And you look back and you go, oh my gosh. So what we're looking for here is a strategic activity. More money to pay off debt. Launch the podcast to express your passion. And it'll build your muscle, give you some passion momentum. Stay in the game. Trust me. You're in proximity. Stay there. Something good is going to pop. It really is.